Hello, this is Jazz Doge, and it's time for some easy low FODMAP everyday cooking. Today we're going to make some nice low FODMAP breakfast bread. For this we will need wheat free flour. The one I'm using is primarily based on psyllium seed husks. But you can probably also go with corn based flour. We're also going to need lactose free butter, caraway seeds, sunflower and pumpkin seeds, some salt, sugar and yeast. Now, start by crumbing the yeast into a bowl. Add a liter of 37 Celsius warm water. 37 is needed for the yeast to work. Now add all of the other ingredients except for the butter and flour and mix that all up. Time to start adding the flour. Alternate between adding and stirring until you reach an oatmeal-like state. Let's add the butter. Since recording this video, I've started replacing the butter with olive oil, which works just as well. Keep mixing in flour until the dough starts to unstick from the bottom. Now keep in mind, it's easy to oversaturate the dough with this type of flour as it continues to absorb a fair amount of moisture as it sits. If you're unsure, it's better to add too little flour at this stage, since you can just simply add more flour after the dough has risen. Cover the dough with a baking cloth and let it sit for 30 minutes. Once the dough has risen, it's time to bake it out. After kneading it into a nicely formable shape, I split it down the middle. and then do the same to all the other chunks, twice. This way I end up with 16 lengths. Roll these lengths out and twist them. Then place them over an oven tray prepared with baking paper or oil. And if you're feeling a little bit fancy, you can also brush your bread with water and sprinkle a little bit of flour on them. Cover the trays and let them sit for 30 minutes to an hour. Heat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and put the bread in for around 25 minutes. Now, this type of flour, it won't brown as much as wheat flour does. But you could always test with a toothpick if you're not sure when the bread is done. This is something you will learn after making this a couple of times. After finishing, let your buns cool under a baking cloth. That's it for now, enjoy!